So a lot of you guys know about pour over coffee, but what you might not know is that pour over coffee actually allows you to have a ton of control over the flavor profile of your final cup. So how do you do that? Let me show you. So let's get our equipment and our ingredients. You're gonna want your Life Boost coffee. Now you can get ground coffee or you can get whole bean. If you're using whole bean, you definitely wanna have your grinder. Then you'll need a filter. We're using a reusable filter, but you can also use paper filters if that's what you have. Finally, you need some sort of kettle. Now we like a long gooseneck. It works really well and helps you control your pour. So now we're gonna grind our coffee, which depending on how strong you want your brew, you're gonna use one to two tablespoons per every six ounces of water. Now, the way that you grind your coffee is really where you get into controlling the flavor profile. So if you want coffee that's a little sweeter, lighter, perhaps a little weaker, you're gonna go coarse. If you want a standard brew, you can do a medium grind. And if you want your coffee very bold and maybe even a little bit more bitter, then you can go ahead and grind it down fine. So whether you're using a paper filter or a metal filter, you're gonna actually want to prime the filter with some extra water that you've boiled. Now, the reason that you do this is if it's a metal filter, it's actually gonna stabilize the temperature and stabilize how your coffee brews. And if you're using a paper filter, you can use the priming to sort of get rid of that woodsy flavor that can affect the flavor palette of your overall coffee. Now, before we do the final brew, I'm gonna go ahead and dump this out really fast. So now it's time to add the grounds and all we're gonna do is just take what we measured and pour it directly into the filter. You wanna shake that so it settles in. So now we're gonna do something which maybe you know about, maybe you don't, it's called blooming the coffee. Now, blooming is a way to release gases such as carbon dioxide and it helps evenly distribute the water so that you can get all of the possible flavor from your grounds as possible. So how do you do it? You're just gonna really carefully go in a circular motion and you put just enough water to get the grounds wet, let it settle, add a little more, and that's really gonna open up the flavor for you. So now that I've finished the blooming process, I'm just gonna take all the rest of the water and pour it over the grounds. The entire brewing process should take about three to four minutes. Enjoy.